Hi everyone, it's Bella from Kids Life and Style, and I'm assuming you're here because you want to compete in a bikini show. Well, that's awesome. Bikini shows are extremely empowering, and you see amazing results physically and mentally, and that's great that you've made that step that you're maybe entertaining the idea of competing. But before you compete, here are just a few tips you maybe you should think about. So before you start looking at dates on your calendar, the color of your suit, or the shoes, block all of that aside and listen to some of these tips. Okay, tip number one, you really need to evaluate where you are um, physically at the gym. Uh, I was a cardio queen before I started competing and I just basically ran on the treadmill because I was too afraid to go into the weight. So about five months before I competed, I got a personal trainer. I learned what deadlifts, snatch, cleans, uh, really how my body works um, and kind of was building up some strength and endurance because I wasn't an athlete growing up, <laughs> like the worst person in PE. I was always hurt or walking around the laps. Anyway, uh, so I took some time to really just kind of strength train. And then I did a 12-week prep of cutting for my bikini show. So kind of evaluate where your body's at because um, it will kind of determine how hard or how easy it's going to be for you. Um, if you're already an athlete or you played sports growing up, um, you're probably going to have a little bit easier time. I had a really hard time putting on, maintaining, and gaining muscle um, at the same time trying to cut fat. So it's a delicate balance and you just kind of have to evaluate for yourself where your body's at. Okay, tip number two, the diet, the lifestyle, all the asparagus and chicken you can eat. <laughs> So the diet is definitely the hardest part because you have to be extremely strict uh, and it's hard to have to battle those cravings, but you can do it. So I would uh, test out maybe a couple of days and just kind of see like, hey, do I want to do this? Um, it's a lot of protein, uh, a lot of my protein from fish and chicken. So I would try a couple of days out, see if you like it, see if this is something I can do long term. Um, it's a lot of time inside the gym and inside the kitchen. You are prepping so much food and your meals and your water and just making sure you have it all. Um, so it, it, it does become like a part-time job almost uh, because it is a lot of dedication. But the awesome thing is that reward on the other side of the show is you will seriously be in the best, best shape of your life. And hopefully you can take some of these habits of going to the gym, eating right and implement them into your lifestyle after the show if you maybe don't choose to compete again. But as they say, it's addicting. I did my first show not thinking I would compete and now I've competed in four <laughs> and I will be competing more because I really enjoy it. <laughs> Number three, you should have a clear goal of why you're competing. Um, if it's to win, that's great. If you want a trophy, place top five first, I don't care, that's awesome. Um, but have a goal because competing and being thin and fit um, isn't necessarily going to bring you happiness. And in fact, it's going to bring a lot of struggle mentally and physically. It is hard, hard, hard to do a show. Um, so if you're looking for some kind of gratification or happiness out of it, I don't know if that's what you'll find per se. Everybody's different. Um, if you're just there to enjoy the experience, to ride the roller coaster, go for it. Um, but just know that competing and getting in the best shape of your life isn't going to answer maybe all your problems that you have. That's me just being honest. I competed in my first show for some other reasons. Um, I didn't place. I had a great time doing it. Obviously because I'm like addicted. I've done four now. <laughs> uh, if you're not ready to compete and you want to maybe put on a little bit more muscle, that's great too because I'm going to start a new bulking series starting next week because right now I'm lean bulking uh, and trying to prepare for that next show so I place a little bit better. So this would be a great series for you if you want to kind of experience the gym a little bit, the diet, um, and really exercise your muscles so that you have some muscle definition that when you compete and you shred it all off, you're looking real good. So that starts next week. I'm really excited to share. It's my first lean bulk with a coach uh, and I'll explain more what that means next week. Okay, so I hope whoever watches this, if you're interested in competing, that this helped you. Um, it's, it's addicting. It's really addicting and it's this great high of life and pushing yourself physically and mentally in the satisfaction that, hey, you freaking did it. So I hope whoever watches this, if you're thinking about it, go for it.
<laughs> Again, next week my Lean Bulking series will start, and I will see you next week. I'm Bella from Hips Life and Style.